Nora Snaps Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. Hola, legends. Soy Saiba. And today we're making Spanish donuts. Donuts españolas esplandores. I really hope I just said Spanish donuts in Spanish. First thing we gotta do is we're gonna do the Dolce de Leche, which is a Spanish caramel. Hopefully the Spanish legends like this. This is like I was thinking, I don't wanna like make every legend feel left out because I feel like I always talk about the American legends, the UK legends, and the Australian legends, but I feel like just because they're the main legends who've watched, it doesn't mean like we don't love you other legends from countries. So that's why I wanted to make this video for all the Spanish legends. And please comment what your country is and what your main dish is so I can do the exact same thing for you. I really hope that I speak Spanish, I'm not saying anything rude in Spanish because I'm not going to have any idea. I don't speak Spanish except for the stuff that Dora the Explorer taught me. She told me um, abre, means open. So I'm only going to be reading the instructions in Spanish. I've got to try to say all these words in Spanish. So first thing we've got to do for the Dolce de Leche is pre calenti el horno a 2020 degrees Celsius. We heat the el horno. And actually all the Spanish instructions are from Google Translate, so I have a feeling lots of them will probably be wrong. So please tell me which ones are wrong and if I said anything funny. Vierta la leche condensada en una funette para horno resistance al cal cal calor. Pour all this into the baking dish. Dolce de leche, Spanish caramel is just condensed milk basically, but you've got to like cook it like a certain way. I'll show you how to in Spanish in a second. Second can. That is satisfying. And then make sure that you get all the condensed milk out of the cans because you want as much caramel as you can possibly get. And only OG legends will know what my favorite flavor is besides caramel. The condensed milk is all poured in. Coloque el plato en una fuente. Para asa. Place that in there. I'm actually gonna take the condensed milk out because I don't want to ruin it. Filling the baking dish as we were, like I said, I was gonna do it. I'm a bit worried because now my condensed milk is kind of like floating. Oh no. Great, I just got a little bit of water in my condensed milk. Is that gonna ruin the whole thing? Look at that. I'm gonna try to pour it out. Now we've got cuble con papel, alumino y jornia, durante one hora, 45 minutos. I really think I'm going to be speaking in a really weird accent. Now we can actually make the churro. First of all, we've got to do 24 gramos de mantequilla sin sal derretida a fuego medio. Now we've got to agregar 20 35 grams de agua. Now 20 grams of de azuca granulada. I feel like speaking in every single language besides English, you sound a bit more fancy, especially French. I wanna make something in French. Cause I feel like their language is so like just beautiful. So French ladies, please tell me what I should make in French and how do I speak French? Now we're gonna do two cucharaditas de extracto de vanilla. Yeah. Now I've got a herb, oh, smoky. Now I've got her veal roe, which is bring this to a boil, which it already is. So I just badja el fiogia el medio bajo. I'm speaking in the worst accent, I'm so sorry. Agrega 140 grams de harina para todo uso. This looks good, I might not fail this. I'm really worried for the frying though, and all the other neurons are really worried for me, and they told me I should definitely not be frying anything with my expertise. Now I've got mezcle hasta teno una Masa. Are you enjoying this video? Are you enjoying me speak Spanish? Oh, I don't know if I can mix it in holy camera at the same time. I wonder if there's a legend in Russia. Is there any Russian legends out there watching this? Or how about Cambodian? How about South African legends? Do we have any of those? I'm gonna try to put it all to the side because I've made it way too big of a pan and it's like now I can't really mix properly. So um, if you happen to be watching this, can you please give me any tips on how to speak Spanish and if I made these shows correctly? I'm trying to open these spatulas up but I don't have scissors for it because this spatula is just like so floppy. I feel like that's a good enough dough. I'm gonna add my eggs. Before you add your eggs, you need to de calor. Gosh, it doesn't feel like that much dough, does it? I feel like I've got nothing. Now I've got Araga tres mas uno yema de hero. Whoever. I feel like I was really bad at cracking eggs. 
That was a really bad crack. I was gonna say, I feel like I was really bad cracking eggs at the start in my cooking career, but now I'm going a lot better, but I haven't actually gotten any better. And my man about to add an extra yolk, but not an extra egg white. Oh, I cracked the yolk. Great, can't use that one. I've got two more tries, not to crack an egg yolk. Let's see if I can do it. Yes, I didn't crack that one. Gonna mix those in. Now I'm just gonna keep mixing for a long time. So while I'm mixing, what should we talk about? Maybe like, I was wondering, what is your dream piece in Norris's fashion? Because I really, really want to make it for you. So you and me can wear it together. But what is it? Can you please tell me? Is that coming together? It's meant to form a dough. It's not meant to form a dough yet. It's meant to take a little while. I actually copied this video of Flaky Salt. So Flaky Salt, if you're watching this, thank you. I feel like if you want to be a good chef, you gotta like do all the tips and tricks. So they do like all the extra stuff. But I feel like I always skip those parts because I feel like they don't mean much. That would probably help my cooking a lot. I'm just gonna add a little more flour because this, this is really milky. It's not really like forming properly. Oh, it's taking so long, hasn't it? Thank you for staying with me. Let's have this dish turns out. I'm gonna try and make it turn out because you try to be really nice to me and watch this video. Now I've got transferia a una manga pastelera con punta de estrella grande. I'm gonna use my spoon to pour that in. I'm gonna use a big soup spoon. Imagine if we have a legend from every single country watching this video. Great, I've made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> so like in every single cooking, I really need to just scrape the bowl clean for me to be happy. I don't know why. I, so I just put my churro bag in the fridge. So I'm going to set up my churro station now. First so I'm going to do a wire rack on a baking sheet that's covered with paper towel. So open up your cinnamon sugar. I just bought pre-made ones. You can just make it with mixing sugar and cinnamon together. Now we've got olive grande de fondo pesado con accenti a 190 degrees Celsius. And I'm using vegetable oil. Vierta la masa directamente. I'm not sure what that word is. En el enciti y cotela. Con sed cardol. Do you watch Dora the Explorer in Spanish? Because she used to teach kids Spanish in Australia. Or oh, in English countries, I'm pretty sure. What do you watch? Tom the the adventurer who just like teach Spanish kids how to speak English? Just a little bit. Oh. I'm put my oh no. Oh no, that was not it. What is wrong with this? Oh no. That is definitely not forming into a churro like I was hoping it would. I think it's because my bad is too milky. If you have any tips on like what I did wrong, can you please tell me? I forgot I put all the Spanish letters down. Sorry. To be honest, they don't look that bad. They just don't look one bit like a churro. Then get this one out. Place this on a paper towel for 30 seconds afterwards. Now I've got to coat them in my cinnamon sugar. I really appreciate that I'm definitely not the best cook and I stuff up most of my dishes. That you still hang out with me and you still choose to click on these cooking videos because I really like cooking with a friend, so thank you for being that friend for me. Oh, legends. Are you okay? They're just not in a circular shape, they're just in like all these crazy weird ones. I'm gonna try to do my next batch, hopefully it turns out a little bit better. Oh, far out, that came out the wrong way. No, it keeps coming out the wrong way. I actually have a big question. Why does frying stuff make it so much unhealthier? I saw 10 year olds in like Flaky Salt's comments saying like, oh, this is really easy. And I don't know why I'm seeing still can't do it. And make it turn out like this. Toss him in here. Ah, oh, it's hot. <laughs> kind of looks like I'm making a lamb cutlet. Look at all of this mess. I'm gonna have to clean up. I'm sad. Time the last one that I think is Barely edible. It looks pretty black. I'm just gonna try to like cover him up with cinnamon sugar so no one realizes how burnt he is. Here are my churros. I'm gonna go and get the dolce di out of the oven now. Oh, it's making a weird sound. Can you hear that? Is it meant to make that weird sound? Let's see it together. Uh, ooh. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Guys, you can come over. They sound excited, but little do they know, it didn't really turn out any good. Hey, Disco! Let's go! I made Spanish donuts! So these are the churros I made. What happened? They didn't like keep a straight form, they just like went all over the place. I don't think, I think my bag was really milky. You need a piping bag. Yeah, I did. I love churros. I yeah, that's I did. Is that yummy? Where's the pot? <laughs> Let's see if this is good. Good disc? Camel too hot? Oh. Very hot. Oh, okay. That's good. That's a bit 
It tastes exactly like a cinnamon donut. He's going in for more. Like a cinnamon donut it doesn't taste like cherry though. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think cherry is a donut, but just in the shape. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it feels like I think in the shape, so it doesn't feel cherry. Did you freeze them on a tray? No, I didn't. Cherry legends, let's try. It's a lot of cinnamon, which I think it mostly tastes like cinnamon. Just like a cherry, but it's like this guy is black. Well, thank you, Space Legends, and all the other legends for watching this mm. video. Catch me.